Then has always been the attitude at Porsche to do not what is expected, but what we feel is right. In the beginning, I looked around and could not find quite the car I dreamed of, so I decided to build it myself. in Stockholm and my mum was driving. I was about 15 years old, so this was a while back. And I remember we came around this corner and there was a white car standing there, parked on the side of the road. As we turned, I saw it closer. White 911 Carrera RS with green lettering on the side, duck fin tail and green wheels. From then on, I realized that just the beauty of the car just resonates without saying anything, without moving, just looking at it, you know it is one. There was a moment of slow motion when I drove past it, or when we drove past it. It's, it's a memory that's stuck with me from all my life, subconsciously telling me, get a 911, get a 911. So this is what I found, and I thought, what better than to get my childhood hero car and work on it and own it and make it alive again, breathe life into it. Well, my name's Aldous Wollenberg. I'm from Sweden, outside of Stockholm on the archipelago. I grew up here in London and I'm a pursuer of automotives. The car I have now is a 911 Porsche, so a Porsche 911 from 1975, of a sort of a rounded body shape and the engine at the far back. Porsche has expanded this idea and continued with this design for generations and generations. The Porsches of today, the 997s and 993s, still are referred to as 911s, yet those, they are the model numbers, the 993 and 997. But people refer to it as 911 because of the design. It just follows that sleek, iconic shape. We all have a desire to create something that will show we were here and did something of value to create something timeless. Ferdinand Porsche had a design feature which he wanted very solely to be a sort of a something to aim for with the designers. The designers can aim for this, and that is that each Porsche should be able to contain in the front two sets of golf clubs. That lives on still today. The great thing about the old cars is that it's not the same as what the cars are today. The cars today, they're all electronic and got to go into diagnosis systems and computers and it's too much hassle while the older cars are mechanical if something breaks you find it fix it or replace it that's as simple as that if the belt falls off put it back on the dream is to build my own hypercar what I want to bring to uh, my design and my company is the stuff from this car, ideas, design for example, it's a typical perfect example of brand recognition. You see a Porsche and you think 911, you think of the shape, you think of the form. And that's what Porsche has done very, very well from the 60s all the way to now. I want to be able to bring that design idea to my car where people see it and they recognize it. They don't have to ask anyone, they don't have to go to someone who's a car nut and be, what, ask, what is that car? I want them to be able to recognize it straight away and enjoy, appreciate the design, along with the other features that then come later. The car can be so many different things.
I don't see myself with this car trying to impress anyone. I bought it because I wanted it. And this very model is the one I wanted. While some other people would just buy it to try and show off. Not the case. But it is undoubtedly that there is a reason why people buy Porsches. It's a loyalty that the customers have with Porsche. The Porsches are very unique cars. Culture, the Porsche culture is very strong.